In this video, we're going to perform an FEA analysis on a barrel vault structure. So here is the, uh, the basic model. Look in the front view, we've got three bays, um, normal anti-clastic form and cable edge on these um, outer edges. Obviously the fabric is fixed on this end arch and this end arch. And in this case, we're going to model this with the fabric not being attached uh, to these two intermediate arches. It will, of course, be attached at the ends of the arches where the fabric would normally be tensioned. So the first thing I've done is created two uh, different model files, FEA files. So if we go to the setup, the first file I've created is called LC0 and I've also created another file called LC other. So this is load case 0 and other load cases. And you'll see why we do this in a moment. So I'm going to take a copy of this model which we'll use for the other load cases. And in this case, we're just doing LC0. The default materials I've got set are Type 1 uh, PVC and a 10 mil cable. So when I build the model, those materials will be used. And we're going to, this is a joined edge mesh. In other words, this is one membrane because I'm working in millimetres, I've got a scale here to um, I'm working in millimetres but also my units are kilonewton metres so I use this scale factor and I want the software to automatically calculate the uh, initial cable tensions I select everything and make model and we can see that um, we've got a bandwidth of 48 which is nice and simple so we should expect good results. Uh, I'll just check pre-stress. Uh, M-Panel FEA typically has very very uh, conservative uh, values here for the different fabrics. You can change those by modifying the materials database. If you go into materials library and edit the membrane database you can change the initial pre-stress just change it to uh, whatever uh, circumstances require. So I'll change it to one kilonewton uh, per meter. There's no loads, this is load case zero and we simply solve for load case zero and we expect and get a very very fast result. Go into top view and results. Now I've pre-programmed different uh, grid plots. Uh, there is a video on how to do this on YouTube. So the first plot I want to do is the basic data plot. There's the header. And for low case zero, I want to plot the data see this includes the title block, materials summary, the restraints, restraint numbers, um, sort of information that your engineer will require. And the next thing we plot is uh, the header for, in my case I call this a basic plot, um, we could use a full plot, I'll just do a basic, so this is a basic uh, series of plots for node reactions, displacements, cable tensions and again plot the actual data, basic data and there we can see a plot for this structure. So this is for load case 0, uh, we can see reactions x, y, z, x, y, cable tensions, the uh, including average cable tension, the D 
displaced shape so we can actually see the displacements the x stress y stress gradient so this is useful for plotting uh, to looking for ponding and then membrane reserve factor so the factor of safety effectively for the fabric so these are the plots that I've chosen for a basic data output so this gives us everything we need for load case zero uh, so this is the uh, static condition after the structure has been installed with no loads applied we'll now switch to load case other in this case we will actually apply some loads to the structure now the other thing we're going to do is select these two arches and I'm going to color them red uh, which will apply a p-list to will we'll assign these to a p-list um, I'm also going to ignore for fixing nodes so I'm telling the software these are not fixed and set so you can see these two arches have now been changed in status and because these are no longer set I need to restrain the fabric at these points so to do that I'll add a 3D polyline so 3P between the ends of the arches here so we'll read this in we'll change the pre-stress to the same value as we used in the initial load case 0 and for load case 1 let's apply a pressure up so minus positive is down uh, 0.5 kilonewtons per square meter so 50 kilograms uh, per square meter we solve for load case 1 now we also need to assign P list 1 which are our two arches to allow up movement so we're constraining P list 1 points to allow up and just to check our P lists go to the points list we can see these are the points and we can actually draw the list model and see those red points that are listed here so these points are uh, allowed now to move up so we're allowing the software to release the fabric off these points So solve for load case 1. We can see now this is taking a bit longer but we get a solid solution. And let's again look at the results. We'll plot the header for data. Now remember the data has changed because we have different uh, fixing points so it's worth plotting out the data same basic plot this time for load case 1 and we can see when we zoom in that the fabric is no longer attached to these arches there's no longer an actual reaction in the load case 0 we actually have reactions along the arch they're fairly small but 
there are reactions on the arch, so the fabric is pushing the arch down. But in this case, we have the fabric actually pulling up off the arch, so there's no actual reaction on these middle arches. And if we look at the displaced shape, we can see the fabric has lifted off the arch everywhere except where it attaches at the end point where we had the 3D polyline. Now if we were to uh, do an analysis of load case, let's add a load case 2. And this time we'll add a positive downward force and once again we need to stipulate that P list 1 is only allowed to move up. So we solve for load case 2. We can see it's taking a bit longer. I'll just interrupt the solution here, change the number of iterations and resume. Save the result. And we run the standard plot for load case 2. And that gets added to our data plot. And we can now see once again that we've got reactions on the arches. And if we look at the displaced shape again, we'll see now that the fabric is actually being pushed down instead of lifted up. Now you may want to provide your engineer with uh, data from a spreadsheet which they can use in their frame analysis software to do an analysis on the uh, steel members to do that we select the different load case and select reactions or we can select the force at node and copy that and paste it straight into a spreadsheet and pass it on to the engineer. Obviously you would give the engineer this same drawing so he can look at the node points here, uh, restraint points, and see the uh, x, y, z values at each of those points. Thank you for watching. If you have any other requests for videos, please let us know at support at mpanel.com.